journalists have visited Ambatulampi. The secluded village is some 350 kilometers from the capital and the road to get there is in a state of ruin. Visitors can only get access using boats and motorbikes. The small settlement in southeast Madagascar was the scene of terrible violence. On the 29th of August, villagers found the corpse of Florette, a 21-year-old woman killed during the kidnapping of her albino toddler. In recent years, multiple reports have pointed to a resurgence of albino murders on the African continent. In many cases, their body parts are used in rituals and ceremonies. Florette's body was found here. This is where I found her, dead. This is where she cooked. No one has touched her belongings. Part of her head was found here. Village residents called on the gendarmerie to hand over the arrested suspect. When their demand was refused, a mob broke into the station to take justice into their own hands. Law enforcement officers fired on the crowd. Some were shot in the head and around 20 were killed. Only this hospital, 100 kilometers from the village, was capable of treating serious injuries. But getting there requires helicopter evacuation. Two days after the riot, it had yet to receive a single patient. I'm Steve Sasson. Ah, okay, okay. Less serious wounds were treated at this smaller hospital next to the village. Esther was treated for a leg injury. He is the brother of Florette, the woman whose murder sparked the riot. People came to nicely ask the gendarme, give us the suspects and we will go. The gendarme responded by challenging us, come and get them. They put up a security cordon and said that if we crossed it, they would be forced to fire on us. We crossed the cordon and they began shooting at us immediately. During a press conference, the Secretary of State for the Gendarmerie claimed that warning shots were fired and that the officers acted in self-defense. They used two tear gas canisters, five tear gas grenades, and warning shots fired into the air. Afterwards, they were obliged to use real bullets to defend themselves. On the ground, witnesses tell a different story. After the clash with the gendarmes, the mob went to the home of the missing child's grandfather. They suspected him of having been involved in the kidnapping, along with three other family members. This was his shop where he kept his goods. It was a two-story house. He lived downstairs. The residents took revenge and looted all of his goods and products, even the plastic bottles. Everyone got involved. The villagers found suspicious items at the grandpa's house, like this paper covered in astrological signs and coded messages. Many think this is evidence of sorcery. He learned and mastered the art of divination. He had another piece of paper with the names of people who had previously died in the village. But the residents burned it. The grandfather had already been arrested multiple times, including for the selling of human bones. He was always released after short sentences, leading to allegations of corruption. The residents attacked the gendarmerie barracks because suspects are often freed, but without any explanation. That's why the population decided to kill them themselves. The family of the victims thought that the suspects would be liberated after questioning, which is why they chose to seek mob justice. They don't trust the judges or the gendarmes. In a bid to restore calm, the gendarmerie gifted four zebus to the family of the victims, but that did little to ease the anger. 
When it comes to the authorities here in Congo, if you want to kill someone, you can pay for it. The authorities take money from murderers and then let them go. These people did bad things, but instead of them, our children were killed. Why not kill these evil people? We're calling on the government to protect us because the law enforcement officers killed our families and nothing has been done about this. The gendarmes who shot people in the crowd have fled the area and been replaced. The EU has condemned the use of excessive violence and called for an independent investigation. The gendarmerie itself has been charged with the inquiry. The regional director of public safety and the district chief have both been fired. The albino child and the grandfather thought to be behind the kidnapping remain missing.